Hello, we are at St. Elizabeth Healthcare in Northern Kentucky and would like to present a quick video in service on the selection and proper application of the AF531 full face mask with cap strap headgear made by Philips Respironics. The AF531 is a newer mask design with many of the same design features as the Performatrack mask such as a dual layer silicone cushion, an adjustable nasal bridge to customize the angle of the mask on the patient's face, quick clips that provide easy application and removal of the mask, and a dual density foam forehead pad that is complemented by the cap strap headgear which provides greater patient comfort and mask stability. In addition, the AF531 offers an exchangeable elbow system to allow easy interchange between vented and non-vented elbows. It allows various exhalation leak flow configurations depending on which type of circuit and exhalation port are used. And it allows specialty elbows to be placed for procedures such as delivering medicated aerosols with the Aeroneb or providing NIV support for patients undergoing bronchoscopy. Additional features of the AF531 include new quick clips that fasten the lower straps of the mask, improved packaging, sizing gauge, and a clean clip mask holder to safely and cleanly secure the mask and circuit when not in use. It is important to inform and inform and educate the patient about the mask and general goals of NIV therapy before applying the mask. It is helpful to describe the expectations and allow the patient to handle the mask prior to strapping it on and applying an IV. This helps the patient become engaged with the therapy and familiarize themselves with the many new sensations that they are about to experience related to the feel and comfort of the mask. Give them a chance to ask any questions at this point prior to providing continuous supportive NIV. You will first want to determine the appropriate mask size for the patient, whether it is small, medium, or large. Remove the disposable sizing gauge from the packaging by tearing the bag along the perforated edge. Place the top of the gauge at the point where the mask will contact the nose just above the midpoint where the bone and cartilage meet. Make sure the bottom of the mask is below the lower lip with the mouth partially opened and the sides of the mask cover the corners of the mouth entirely. Now that you have selected the correct size, remove the mask from the packaging and apply it to the patient prior to connecting the circuit. Reconfirm the exhalation port placement at this point, making sure there is a disposable exhalation port in the circuit if using the clear leak one elbow. To apply the AF531 with cap strap, first place the headgear behind the patient's head with the lower edge of the cap strap just above the eyebrows. Adjust it to ensure the tip of the mask rests rests in the proper spot on the nose. Now, tighten the top straps by pulling both simultaneously and securing the Velcro ends. Next, look at the angle of the mask on the patient's face and adjust the nasal bridge angle adjuster to ensure the cushion contacts evenly across the face. Remember that the dual silicone cushion is designed to make the AF531 a self-sealing mask. So once the mask is pressurized, the outer thin layer will create a seal and provide a low pressure air cushion to minimize any skin integrity issues from occurring. Now, place the top of the quick clip over the mask stem and rotate down to clip it into place. The bottom straps do not need to be too tight. There should be ample room to place one or two fingers between the lower strap and the patient's neck. Again, the lower straps are not intended to maintain the mask seal. The AF531 is self-sealing. These straps are designed to stabilize the mask and allow an adequate but not an airtight seal during NIV and patient movement. Our goal is to have a loose-fitting, comfortable mask that has a prescription leak between 7 and 25 liters per minute. 
We want the leak to come out the bottom of the mask near the patient's chin to avoid any leakage around the eyes. Because most BiPAP devices have great leak compensation systems up to 60 liters per minute, we are able to provide stable pressures, reliable triggering, good patient synchrony, and effective therapy with mask leaks in the range of 7 to 25 liters per minute. After you connect the circuit and begin NIV therapy at low levels of pressure, allow the patient to acclimate to the positive pressure and coach them through the first few breaths. Recheck the mask leak and provide any fine tuning of the head straps to adjust the level or direction of the mask leak. Once the mask fit is customized to the patient, the Velcro tabs should not need to be adjusted again. Now you can titrate the pressures up to achieve the desired clinical effect or the physician ordered settings. You may want to show the patient how to remove the mask by placing their finger behind the lower strap and pushing forward to unclip the lower fastener. Showing the nursing staff how to easily remove the mask during the lower clips will ensure that the customized fit is maintained and that they can easily remove the mask or hinge it up to provide oral care, give medications, sips of water, etc. Re-emphasize with the nurse that adequate and effective therapy may be delivered even if there are leaks around the mask. We actually want there to be a leak. If the mask is to be removed to allow the patient to eat or ambulate, the mask and circuit may be removed from the cap strap and placed in the clean clip holder to securely maintain good infection control practice. Remember to put the BiPAP device in standby mode so that it will automatically begin ventilation when the mask is reapplied. To conclude, let's briefly review the characteristics of the various elbows that are available with the AF531 and how to change them. To remove an elbow, grasp the hub of the mask with one hand while lifting and slightly twisting the elbow to the left with the other. To replace an elbow, place it in the mask hub and slightly twist it to the right to secure the fit. The clear leak one elbow is a vented elbow, meaning it has a built-in anti-asphyxiation valve in place. The clear leak one elbow is designed for use with an NIV device that uses a single limb circuit with a disposable exhalation port in the circuit. The amber leak two elbow is also a vented elbow, with an anti-asphyxiation valve in place, but it has grooves along the hub of the elbow that allow for continuous exhalation flow at the mask. This elbow is designed for use with NIV circuits that do not have an expiratory port included, but it may also be used in conjunction with a DEP to allow even greater exhalation flow and CO2 clearance. The blue standard elbow, or SE elbow, is a non-vented elbow, meaning it does not have an anti-asphyxia valve in place. The blue SE elbow is designed for use with critical care ventilators that have a built-in safety valve and provide their own exhalation valve using a closed circuit. In review, the AF531 full face mask with cap strap headgear is designed to improve patient comfort and tolerance to NIV therapy with features that benefit both the patient and their bedside caregivers. Thank you for your time and attention and we wish you good luck and success in your future NIV endeavors using the AF531 full face mask with cap strap headgear.